We're going to see how to convert a double invert roller into a single invert roller. In effect, what it means is that you're going to be using only the top six bands. You change the spear from a 9mm or 8.5 to a 7.5mm spear and it will perform fantastically well for reef fishing, dentex and things like that. So in effect, you have two guns with a double invert roller, a tuna gun or a large um, uh, a game gun and at the same time you can have a, a spear gun that is um, easier to load. Now, how do we convert it? The first thing we do is we, we've taken the bands off over here just to have them loose and it, it's actually an easy process but for demonstration purposes I'm just going to go through the whole process. So what we do is we take a small little hammer and we hit so we can get this taken out as much as possible and then with um, the help of a nail um, or with a little screwdriver we simply take this off. It's not a very easy, it's not supposed to be an easy task. So just like this, okay? So we've taken the one side off. It's very important that we do that. We also loosen this one side. Remember which side is going to be loosened because it's going to play a great role when putting it back together. So we're going to loosen the one on the right. Uh, in this video, you can loosen whichever one you want, but you must remember which one to put in so you can have the, the rollers and the bands at the right side up. So this is what we do just like this there we go so we've loosened the one side so now I remember that this is on the left the wishbone is on the left what we do then is take a screwdriver and a little screwdriver pin or whatever suits you best and we simply take the safety pin off and this is the safety pin there we go the safety pin has come off we take out the washer, which keeps the, the band in place. There we go. And then we simply take the roller out. So we, we can knock it out like this. We knock it out. And in order to get this out, we do the same on the other side. So you're going to have uh, two... Uh, safety pins and two washers that's the only parts that you mustn't lose I'm going to add I always add extras by the way and we take those off obviously this side comes easier off like so and now this is the the easy part we knock it in we we are careful not to hit the wood obviously so we knock it in and now with the help of a very good drill just a simple drill like this we simply grab the side, just this, just the side, and we pull it out, like so. And this is the pin that it goes in. Now the rollers have fallen through, and with the rollers, we've just converted the gun, as you can see here, into a single invert roller. There we go. It's a single invert roller now. Obviously, the double invert roller is a much wider gun. Uh, the wood is chosen. It's a much stronger wood that is used. There's a huge difference between the single invert roller um, body chassis and because it takes double the, um, the load. But the double invert can be converted into a single invert for everyday fishing. And once we want to go fishing again, you can see where our bands are, they're right there. We can um, reassemble this and uh, go fishing as a double invert, one shot, one fish kind of thing. So to put it back in, we just reverse the process. So remember we had to remember which roller, so we're putting everything together here so we can have easy access to it, the two pins. We've got a hammer. Okay, there's the one. All right.
right. So a piece of cake. And there's the other pin. So what we do is we remember what we had said. So we put this one in first. Uh, the, the white wishbone goes onto the left side. It's as simple as that. And the red one, or the, the one without the wishbone, goes onto the right side. Like so. So we've got them like so. We put this back in carefully. Make sure that the line is in the groove. And we can let it drop. The same goes for this side. And now we take our pin. We put it on our drill. Right at the edge, if possible. Like so. We pick up our, our line. Now we do this because this has to be snug. And there we go. Now we go into the other one. And the last bit we can actually hammer in just to be on the safe side. So we simply just hammer in like so. And we can go ahead and assemble now. So we got the right side here. With this on. It goes a lot quicker when you when you just take the pins off. And we put the safety pin on. Like so, we're going to squeeze that afterwards to make sure that it's nice and snug, it doesn't come off. We hammer the side in so that we've got more space on the other side, which is here. So we need to hammer it a lot more in. Like so, now we've got a lot of space here. And we put this one on this side, as simple as that. Like so. And we put the, the safety pin back on. And in just so few minutes, just a few minutes, we just converted a single invert roller into one of the most powerful spear guns in the world, which is the double invert roller with the 12 bands and with extremely, shoot, extremely powerful shooting um, capabilities. Uh, we do the safety knot or the knot that every person would like to use it depends on what knot you like using I'll use this one it's one of the safest knots and make sure it's tight and we're ready to go there we go